Comments like these are the reason I will never get tired of the community bashing this game and to be honest, do I even have to try when the game has a new controversy every other week since its launch? So you know, all I'm doing today is looking at a simple mod made by a simple man who had one simple goal in mind and that goal was to showcase the best aspects of Fallout 76, except it's in Skyrim, so why not enjoy this with me? That comment I put up also wasn't bashing. You think I would ever say anything bad about Fallout 76, the pinnacle of online survival multiplayer games? A story so complex, most people can't even find it. Nah man, I'm gonna stick to my main Khajiit here and traverse the complicated terrains of Skyrim. By trying to get up this mountain by spamming the jump button because that's how the Lord Todd above deemed it possible. So I guess this is another mod video on a mod made in Skyrim because the modding community for that game is just never going to die. So why not take a look at a mod that honestly does not surprise me in being a thing. I'm also like 3 weeks late to this but like you know, whatever right? Thank you Inferno Plus for creating this gem of a thing which I will now see how close it resembles to the actual game of the century, Fallout 706. The picture on the mod alone is enough to make me want to get it anyway. I'm a simple man, I see a Dovahkiin hat for sale, I click buy. If you were in my shoes, in my position, would you not also accept this as the form of persuasion? I don't want you guys to tell anyone, but I'm just trying this mod out for a joke. I, I don't think anyone could have possibly gotten that. I'm not supposed to use the alternate start mod, which is like my favorite mod in the world for this, so I have to bear through the intro again, which of course isn't a problem with it being such a wonderful game. Thought I would never say such a bad thing, I swear. Wait, I don't have to do the intro again. This mod is already more beautiful than what I originally already expected. I'm going to play boy with sharp claws since Khajiit are just so overpowered in this game and you know, if you don't like it, it's probably because you play an Imperial. Who does that? Only a total loser will play an MMO by themselves. You know, I'm not against this, but I'm gonna keep my pants on just in case. Oh wow, some serious loot from this chest, I'm already up to a rambunctious start. I'm already getting my ass handed to me by a spider, and I have no weapons at all. When did novice become so difficult? Magic is easily the best way to go about this situation, uh, and I'm dead. Wow, I've been booted back to the menu. This already feels so much like Fallout 76. Let's try again. Well, the game crashed. <laughs> oh boy, this is really staying true to the 76 experience. Okay, so this time I got a weapon from the chest and it's a pipe rifle. I like this. Yeah, that's right, spider. Take a bit of this pipe rifle that happens to be shaped like a hammer, but is still a pipe rifle? It just doesn't shoot yet? That honestly was the quickest I think I've ever gotten out of Helgen, and it's pretty amazing. Skyrim. Skyrim never changes. I like what he did here. You know, I feel like the fort wall has already been broken like a hundred times. How am I supposed to be immersed in the game if all uh, immersion breaking? Huh? If this won't give me nightmares tonight, I genuinely don't know what will. This is fucking horrible. Oh, did I just swear? Ooh. I'm going to just clear out Ember Shard Mine with my new smaller condensed pipe rifle and pipe shield and hope to Talos that that's the only bandit looking like that. I actually am shocked by how horrifying this face is. It reminds me of One Punch Man for some reason. Maybe you can see why in comparison. Right, to Riverwood we go and Sven has the face too. <laughs> this is great. I have to talk to this audio log again. Wow. Okay, so build a house. Are you joking me? 700 pieces of firewood. Okay, I'll try and be his friend instead. Man, go away with this, there's absolutely no way in this planet I am doing something like this. Right, there you go. Now I have to walk to my destination because yeah, my carry weight is over 3000. 
This is definitely the Fallout 76 experience. Okay, we are finally here and quest complete. Where's my house? The journal says I finished my house and that it's a cute house, but I don't see a house. Where is my reward for doing the quest? Todd, you swindled me again, Todd. I'm going to spawn in the wolves and kill them because I don't even think the game has 362 wolves. I don't think the game has 60 wolves to be honest. Okay, so I managed to kill two. The kill all command doesn't work, so I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Nah, we're doing this the quick way. So I've spawned in 362 more wolves and got myself 10 scrolls of blizzard for the occasion. So let's give it a shot with the first one. <sighs> How about we go and try and make a friend instead? We don't need any of these tedious, I, I mean great quests the game has to offer. Skyrim 76 is still the best online survival game in existence. I'm going to head to Whiterun because there's a companion near it that I can use for my journeys because apparently I ain't cool if I play multiplayer games alone. I have my eek. What else could I possibly need? Oh, look at the dog pun quest. Slowly but surely getting to where we... Hey, wait! I thought I only had two. I've been stolen from again. Nightmare fuel. I'll say it now. And I'll say it 10 more times. Pure and utter nightmare fuel. As we continue forward, I reflect on my choices throughout Skyrim and how they were probably pretty poor. Hey, it's just a giant crushing innocent people to death. Nothing strange about this situation. Okay, our first potential companion. Let's see hey what there. they have to say. I've got a great deal for you. I'm doubling money right now. Would you be interested in that? Okay, you will double my money. Sounds Very legit. Simple. Here you go, what kind you sir. <laughs> Scammed, idiot. I'm just gonna pretend this didn't happen and try the next companion nearby in Whiterun. And it's best if you guys don't tell anyone about this as well, you know. This journey has become an unpredictable one, so let's try this bad. next one and just hope for the best. You know, I'm fucking sick of hearing about fucking Ulfric Stormcloak. How's he fucking- How is he commissioning this war? How is he doing that? Makes no fucking sense. He says he fights for men and people in his arms. Oh. Why does nobody want to team up with me in this? Okay, guys, I give up. But I have to say, outside of the terrible jokes, this mod is actually pretty fun. I didn't expect to have any fun playing it, but it was pretty nice to try out. There's still a bunch of companions I didn't see, and maybe I'll do another part of the ones I didn't see in the future. But sure, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you anyway. You may notice a severe lack of uploads for the next two to three weeks, but that's just because I'll be gone on a trip, so expect lots when I get back. I have plans to do a video playing some of the endearing mod and then the next hardest decision and then there's Skyrim together there's so much to do they'll all soon be here and we have so much more content and videos to make so I hope you guys are as excited as me I genuinely love doing this as a hobby and I always have fun so I hope you guys do too but anyways that is all for this video if you did enjoy watching this and this is your first time watching make sure to check out my other videos and see if you can find something you like I have posted a lot of different types of Skyrim content so there's bound to be something for everyone the link to this mod is in the description so go and check it out i highly recommend it if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe and all that crap but yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day and weekend and i will see you all next time